Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is going to be about retirement and happiness. Do they go together? Well, yes, they do and no, they don't. For many people, people who retire find it a struggle to find happiness as well because before they used to be a big fish in a little pond, but now maybe they're a little fish in a massive lake. So therefore, adjusting to retirement and happiness is a struggle sometimes. So what I've done to go along with this video is that I've got this free ebook that I can give you and it's with regard to happiness and the mindset. If you'd like this ebook then send me a message to this email address down below and please subscribe that would be nice. I give this ebook to those people who subscribe to my channel and I like to give people some things and some value with regard to watching my channel and I thank everybody who subscribe to my channel and, and comments on to my channels. So I, I try to give something a little bit back and this ebook here is all about happiness mantra and how you can get into that position of being happy. Now we're not going to be bombarded by messages and things like that about buy this, buy that, buy the other. I don't do things like that. All it is, is that if you email me, then I'll send you this book free of charge and you won't be pestered by messages to buy this, buy that, buy the other. It's just a simple giveaway because I want to give value to my channel. So this is the list of contents with regard to the ebook that I'm going to give you. As I say, I'm not going to go into every little chapter amongst this. If you're really, really interested in it, then just send me a, a message and I'll gladly send you it free of charge. So happiness, know the basics. Now the basics of being happy is not hard to understand live a fruitful life, be happy in yourself, be happy with what you've got, be happy with where you are. And if you're not happy with any of them, it's up to you to change it. You are the author of your own happiness. Now I'm 62 year old and I've got to say, I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in my life. I feel happy, I feel content. Everything seems well with the world. My yin and my yang are both in balance. Um, I live in a beautiful country. I live a lovely lifestyle far better than the lifestyle I could have lived in the UK. Sometimes you have to go further afield to look for your happiness and your contentment and your yin and your yang to be able to be content in your own lifestyle. So sometimes look outside of the box. It might be a better lifestyle elsewhere than the lifestyle that you're living now. Happiness is within your control and there's only you that can do something about it. Reasons for sadness. Now sadness is a state of mind, we've all been there and I suppose you can only really appreciate happiness when you've been through sad parts of your life and I've got to say I've had more than my fair share of sadness in my life with three divorces, bankruptcy, losing my houses, losing my businesses, all through divorce but that's another story, I've done some other videos on that with regard to what happened to me in my lifestyle but I'm still happy, I'm the happiest I've ever been and I've got to turn around and say look where I live. And once I've finished this video, this is my afternoon location on the hammock. Beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful day today. Nice blue skies, sunny, warm. It's a fantastic feeling. We also have a seating area outside. This is where we spend most of the day in our veranda outside of our house. It's a beautiful location here. Who, who wouldn't be happy living this lifestyle? And at a fraction it would cost me to live like this in the UK. What is true happiness? Now this can only be determined by the person who's happy or not happy. Some people want wealth and possessions and status. Other people, such as myself, I don't, I don't chase that. I used to chase that when I was younger because that was the dream. That's what everybody seemed to think. You had to get all of these things to be successful in life or deemed to be successful in life. And I got to a stage where I was working seven days a week trying to get all of these possessions, the nice house, the nice car, the nice holidays, the nice lifestyle, but boy did that come at a price. I eventually lost everything that I was aiming for and then I found a true happiness situation when I came here to Thailand. I found that you didn't need all them possessions, you didn't need all of them trinkets, you didn't need all of that superficial stuff. Live a simplistic lifestyle, live within your means, and you will live a much more true, happier life than trying to chase the possessions and the trinkets and the positions and the, what everybody else is looking for. 
live a more simplistic, happier lifestyle. Now traditional or new age happy lifestyle. Now that's a choice between you and yourself and your thoughts. Um, I've seen both styles. I've seen the, the traditional happiness that people live with the possessions and things like that. And I've seen the hippie lifestyle. Uh, the people with nothing, the people like living in a bus or living a new age travelers people living a nomadic lifestyle, people living in a van, people living in a bus, people living in a tent. And I've got to say, out of all the people that I've met, the people living in a van, the people living in a bus, the people who are living a more simplistic lifestyle, to me, this is how it comes across, that they live a more happier lifestyle than the people who are working with the high pressure jobs, trying to compete against everybody else to try and get their value of the nice house, the nice car, the nice jobs, the nice holidays. You're always fighting and striving to get a much better lifestyle by trampling on other people to get higher and higher and higher. That's not the lifestyle that I wish to be a part of. And I would go for the, the hippie lifestyle more than the traditional happiness lifestyle. So adopt the empowerment of happiness it's within your own possibility to be the happiest you can ever be. Stay away from negative people. If you've got negative thoughts, change them negative thoughts into a positive thought. How you can be much happier in your own lifestyle is by being able to help others. That in itself is a rewarding feeling, helping others. I do this all the time with my YouTube channel, Retired and Living the Dream. I've helped countless people with regard to helping them to get visas, helping them to relocate to Thailand, putting them on the right road, helping with finding houses, giving them my knowledge that I've acquired over 10 years. And if it helps other people, then that's reward enough for me and I'm happy by doing that. So if you want this ebook, just send me a, an email down below and I'll gladly send you this ebook free of charge. I hope this has been some value to you and you get something out of it. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next video, bye for now.